niece, owner of Dazzler's Best. Today, my friend and fiber artist extraordinaire, Jonathan Berger, will demonstrate spinning yarn on the Modricraft Rose spinning wheel. Hey, so uh, the Modricraft Rose is a, a really unique wheel. They're manufactured in New Zealand, out of a New Zealand hardwood. Uh, there's some different features about this wheel that, that make it unique in the spinning world. Uh, it does have a scotch tension on it. Uh, the scotch tension is uh, done a little bit uniquely. The strings are crossed uh, to help prevent the issue that you can have when uh, you'll get a different tension when you're going in the Z-twist or S-twist direction. So the way that the strings have been crossed helps alleviate some of that. Uh, the Modricraft Rose also has some extremely beautiful styling. They've got the rose tattoo on the front, and then just the shape of it is quite unique. Um, another thing that I'll show you is that this, uh, you can see that the, the position of the mother of all is currently set up on the left side of the wheel. If you are someone who spins with your fiber in the right hand, you may prefer this to be on the right side of the wheel. So you can actually um, just pop a screw out right here and then this entire assembly can flip over and you can spin in the right-handed configuration. If you also want the flyer in the center of the wheel, there's a knob right here. You can loosen that knob and then just tilt it ever so slightly and put that flyer right in the center. You'll also notice that this wheel has a delta orifice. The delta orifice is uh, really good for doing um, thicker yarns, um, anything down to maybe even fingering weight. Uh, it does work with lace. I can comfortably spin lace weight on this wheel. Um, however, Modricraft does include with the wheel this guy, which is the fine flyer. You can see that it's got a traditional orifice on it um, that is well suited to doing things like lace. Um, in addition, this wheel is uh, very portable. If uh, you undo this knob down here, the whole assembly actually comes down just like that. There's a built-in carrying handle right here, and the, the wheel is then ready to carry, move in your car, um, put in the back seat. And um, another thing that I'll show you about this wheel that I like quite a bit is this cam assembly on the back. Um, the way that this is curved helps minimize the locking that you can get. Um, if any, anybody who's spun much will know that the wheel has a position where you really can't get it to go without pushing the wheel. Because of the way that this is curved, that little spot where the wheel locks is really minimized. Um, it's generally really easy to get this wheel to move in the direction that you want it to. And the last thing that I'll tell you that I quite like about the rows are the treadles. The treadles are very thick um, and they are hinged in such a way that you have a lot of heel power on it. Um, I really like it for doing things like art yarns, yarns where you're going to be stopping and starting the wheel quite a bit. Um, it's very easy to stop this wheel on a dime because you have four points of contact, both heels and both balls of the feet. Um, so it is, uh, it's really pleasant to spin um, any, any type of yarn where you are having to manipulate um, start and stop the wheel quite a bit. Um, and one more thing I, I forgot to mention, the, the hook up here is a sliding hook, so you don't have to worry about changing hooks on the flyer. Uh, some people prefer, some people don't. Um, I, I think that it works quite well. Um, the entire assembly is uh, really nice and the, the wheel is a great wheel overall. Um, if you're interested, definitely check out Dazzler's Best. They have uh, a fantastic selection and uh, amazing customer service, so be sure to check them out. Thanks. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, you may contact us at info at dazzlersbest.com. This wheel is available on dazzlersbest.com, and with the purchase of the wheel, you get a free wild flyer. Now be sure to watch our next segment in which Jonathan will explain spinning yarn on the rose wheel as well as the wild flyer. Thank you.